Bigfoot country. Smells like Yeti. Sasquatch. Sasquatch. So, are they the same? Sasquatch and Yeti? No, because Yeti is the snow one. Oh. They're, they're ice dominant. Well, big, well, Sasquatch is forced. Oh. What do you know about that? From some company. Well, Hello. Right the there you go. <laughs> Coming down the mountain. <laughs> Yahoo! Going to the Bigfoot Discovery Museum. We're getting there. Ten minutes is huge. We... There's a sick turnout. Number three. Oh, we didn't Talk do it. With your child for twenty minutes with wah, the television wah. off. That just seems so low, doesn't it? Frank and I, yeah, we're, yeah, that just seems really low. Number four. All right, Felton is in 14 miles. 14 more miles till we get to Felton. 14 miles of beautiful wilderness. Yeti. 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 Yeti Betty. I did see something move though. Uh oh, it's Betty Yeti. Yeti, Betty, mystery town. We don't know what it is. Ben Loman, I believe. Frontier. Eight lumber. Oh, they have an eight hover. Cool. I like this town. Still searching for the Yeti. Dun dun dun. It's gotta be around here somewhere, damn it. We're gonna find it. Damn, damn it. it. Ding dang damn it, dude. Trash Two cans. Go. Before we're probably just gonna Got some houses. Have a seat. All right. All right, and then we're gonna go straight back down. Yep. Yeah, you're right. We are where currently looks like we're nowhere. We are so, in Yeti Vortex. Yes. Yeah, so Although, look. Oh, we're gonna re-enter Pine Flat Road. Looks like. Okay. okay so we're good. I think. I'm not right, sure. Let's if we show this. All right. So. Welcome to Yeti Country with some civili civilization. Almost said civilization. But yeah. Okay. So, what was that? What was that sign for? I don't know. I must review the footage after I'm done shooting. I think it said Yeti turd on your left. Bum bum bum. Oh, hey, a car. Anyway. We are nowhere to be found. You're literally nowhere. Another car and a wild yeti. I found we, the yeti. We, may, we may never see this yeti. My god. Pine Flat Road. Okay, we're still on Pine Flat Road. Alright, so I'll see you. Ice cream grade. What the heck? I literally said ice cream grade. Okay, so um, see you in the next vlog. We are lost. We are lost. We head southeast. Okay, we got it. Never mind. Uh, this was unnecessary. Don't watch this. We may have missed a few turns. Still on the search for Yeti. We we're lost again. Oh wait, no, we're not. We are at the uh, something state park. We're at the Wilder Ranch. Cultural Center. And this is the Wild Cultural Preserve. The phone keeps telling us where to go. Um, those the, that gray building over there was our savior. Um, we had a. It let us take a dump. We no. Well, yeah, pretty much. No, we peed. We had so, to pee real bad. It let us take a frontal dump. Frontal dump, yes. Frontal dumpage. I can barely see the camera lens. Okay, good enough. Alright. So yeah. Kay. See you hopefully at the Bigfoot Mystery Museum. Bye. Yo, one. yo, 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 yo. Try us one more time. Look at you whack dude bros. Or 
still not out of the parking lot. Yeah. But we're soon to be. We're just cruising. Good times. Let's just keep the camera on. Oh my god, my bladder feels so much better. Alright, All right, so we're still cruising out of the um, museum. Not museum, the Wilder <laughs> Cultural Park. Yep. Still looking for um, Yetis. Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Uh, Bigfoot. Uh, all that stuff. All right. Gonna get on the freeway. All right, we're back in search of the Yeti country. Okay, six miles to Felton again. Five miles. Depends who you ask. Get your facts right. Okay. 4.9. All right, next stop, Yeti Bigfoot Research Museum. Hopefully. Discovery Museum. Hopefully. Hopefully. If not, if not then we're I'm going to Monterey. Go. Not that I Screw kill the Dad. Yeti! If not, then I'm gonna kill Dad. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, just because my navigational skills suck does not mean you get to kill me. Mm. You you have done an excellent job in your navigational skills. Navigate! I don't know what navigation! I, I have not done so well on my skills. If I say left, we should have gone right. If I say stop, we should have definitely stopped sooner. <laughs> what? Alright. We're coming up on some places. Hopefully they'll be here soon. We... I'm, not, I'm not sure what this place is, but it's got a pretty fancy sign. Some kind of paradise place. Paradise Park Masonic Club. Oh, the Masons. Ooh, spooky Yeti! Wait, Mason? Isn't that a secret society? It is. Hooray! We found it! Finally. All right, real quick. After 57 hours of driving... About... 400 miles, we finally found the Bigfoot Museum. This better be good. Let's go. Oh, hey, a Bigfoot diorama. Oh, there we go. He's in the back, just chilling and looking at us with his creepy soul. I can't see anything. Nice reflection. Yeah. Dude, that is a that's a yeti butt like I've ever seen one. is everything from a giant human down to a little elf or fairy. And I'll show you a book. It was recently published. It's a, it's a numbered book. It's a limited edition. The author is Thomas Steinbeck, the son of the famous John Steinbeck. And a Bigfoot uh, landscape artist is the illustrator. And the subject matter is the dark budget. Oh, that's so cool. And uh, I wish that Steinbeck died about a year ago. He died August of last year. I didn't find out about this book until after he already died. Because I would have loved to have had them come up here for a signing party. And then I could have shown him our map, and then maybe his idea about the uh, Dark Watchers might have changed. Because I think we've proven what the Dark Watchers are. They're suspects. And here's a I'll show you that there's a map here in the main area where the Dark Watcher still is. Oh, okay, yeah. And last year, 
In April, there was a giant fire down in Big Sur, mm -hmm. called the Sobrantes Fire. Supposedly the most expensive fire ever in the state of California. Mm -hmm. Well, around the time that fire was happening, we got a rash of sightings from Pajaro Gap. Pajaro Gap is where the San Lucia Mountains hook up with the Santa Cruz Mountains. Pajaro River passes through. So this is a choke point. If you're on foot traveling north and south in the mountains, you got to go through Pajaro Gap. So we got three reports from Pajaro Gap within a week, and all of their sightings were within a mile or two of each other. And the most memorable was a man in Hollister who does pest control. He works for himself. He's self-employed as an uh, exterminator. So he told me, I've done exterminator work in the Pajaro Gap area for 10 years now. And I have, in that time, met five or six old retired former military type guys who told me they saw a hairy wild man in the area. One saw one in the Pajaro River, one was seen on Highway 129, walking down the side of the road in the middle of the night. Another was spotted on Airport Boulevard at 3 in the morning. And so he said, I wasn't a skeptic, but I wasn't a true believer until last Friday when I crossed the road in front of my car. He said he was on Old San Juan Road approaching the mission at San Juan Batista, and one crossed the road in front of the car. He said it was 9 or 10 feet tall, covered in black hair, and extremely fast. So he said uh, he went back to the spot the next day to see the area in the daylight. <clears throat> he said he was a tracker in the Army, so the first thing he did was look for the nearest creek. So he found a creek bed nearby, and sure enough, as he walked along the edge of the creek, he found the tracks, which he photographed and put on his Facebook page. So now I get a call from him every few weeks with a new story he's gleaned, because when you become a true believer like that from a sighting, you can't think of anything else. You are now obsessed with Bigfoot, because you now know for a fact they're real, and you just want to talk about it, you want to study it. And so now he keeps bumping into people who tell him they've also seen him. So he gives me all these stories, including a real wild one about a cattle ranch south of Hollister, where he claims that three cows have their heads pulled off. And that a paramilitary group showed up with drones. They put the drones out, the cameras on them, the footers, found the suspect, just went in and shot them. I don't know if that story is true or not, but I've heard other stories similar to that. So it may be that the uh, government discovered these things a long time ago, realized there's no threat to national security, no threat to public health, but that sometimes some of them get a little uh, nasty and a little out of control, and then they have to put them in line and take care of the rogues that are causing problems. I wouldn't be surprised. I used to always think that the Bigfoot are totally benign. They're an introverted person. Because I have read and heard thousands of accounts. And they don't seem to hear anything. Now, usually we say, if they are hurting people, picking us up one at a time, they're really good at it. Because apparently there's no witnesses and there's nobody complaining about it. So, Dylan, what do you think? All right, Dylan, so we just came out of the Bigfoot Museum, Discovery Museum. What are, you, uh, what are your thoughts? It was two rooms and an old man. He had some stories. He had some stories. It was free. Some cool stories. We donated five bucks. We, we did our part. Even when the donation suggestions were one to two dollars. Yeah, well, you know, he's out here there doing his thing. There was a tenor in there, so. He was doing his thing, so. Um, yeah, so it was a, a, an 11 half hour drive to get here, and um, we were in there for probably five minutes. Now, nah, maybe yeah. 10. He was, he was a bit chatty. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Bigfoot Museum. Now One more thing a, off the list. Now we're gonna go get a bite to eat. Bite to eat. Let's do it. Yay, 
for power plants. Look at that goofy guy ride his bike. Alright, so Monterey Sand, world famous. Monterey truck, not so famous. Monterey Honda. Whoa. There is the historic Monterey Bay, famed for its Monterey eels, squid, and shite monsters. And up ahead on your left will be the world famous Monterey Staples and Food for Less. I'm sorry, that was a smart and final. Ah! Ah! God damn it, you! Jellyfish everywhere. Jelly, 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 jelly. Jelly. Crazy. Good thing we're not swimming. Monterey Bay. And, we, and that thing. Whatever those that people thing, are huh? doing. Good and Lulu's griddle in the middle. Yes. So, Dylan, how is Lulu's in the middle restaurant? Dylan's taking his all-important uh, position in a road trip, which is laying down. And farting. And farting. Next stop, Bismo, maybe. Oh, it's oh. Oh, it just says tow here is often overlooked, but it's no, but it's a big no-no. Well, so my dad just went outside because um, we were at the wonderful Big Sur, but since the fire. Uh, the road has been closed. Closed. But anyway, um, and the sign said, road closed. No detour. So, I don't know how that's going to fare out. We're probably going to, like, turn around or do something. But other than that, um, let's get out of the car and enjoy the wonders of Big Sir, let's do this. Hello. It's the cell service. The wonderful big sir, and there's some people. Very bold and courageous people. But anyway. Welcome to Big Sir, everybody, and that and, and that Mazda. Mazda. So, I'm gonna walk down these steps now. These steps right here. Right, oh jeez. A little bit sandy. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm not good with beaches. Mystery Spot Santa Cruz, California, yay! No, but seriously. Oh, that's pretty cool, right? But anyway. Hey. Cute little bug. The adventures of the cute little bug. But it's a cute little bug. Yeah, nice. Don't squash it. I won't. He's innocent. <laughs> Alright, let's keep moving. Alright. Yeah, it's getting quite low. But anyway, yeah. We have to find a way out of this. Um, yeah. We will see you guys, hopefully, when we get back on the road. Um, yeah. See you then. Wait. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Yo, 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 my dirty yo's. Traffic's lighting up a bit. Heck yeah. 11 miles, we can get to the, get to the Salinas and we can get our groove on, get heading yeah. home. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, up yeah. text. Up oh, text. Nah, nah, nah.
It's a very busy day on Dylan's phone. Well, actually, it's more of a busy 10 minutes. That's true. It yeah, it has right. been a whole day, but... Uh, but I... So yeah, we, we have... Yeah. Ugh. I think something's about to come up. You got a burp? Farm country. More than meets the eye. Farm country. They farm everything from corn to vegetables to dirt. We. Oui. So exciting. Crazy fun. Hello, 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 my dude, yo. We're on our way home. 100 miles ish left. We yeah, get to Pismo. This Scottish hitchhiker. Hey, what are you talking about me for? I'm yes, just kidding. we picked up a, a hitchhiker because we're living dangerously. We are living la vida loca. what? Dangerous life. Something like a crazy life. Got it. Okay, so yeah. I'm tired as heck. Ah, uh, it's been a long day. Long day. All right. Catch you later. Catch you later. the line. Do you want to wake up? Road trip's over. The road beast and the, road, and the road dog on our last voyage. I think this will officially end Dude Road Trip 2017 with the return of the road beast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Excitement. Excitement. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm eating crazy. Him. Sorry, I'm eating saltine. I know. Okay. All right. Shall we go? Mm -hmm. So the road, road beast did did well. We drove, I don't know, five or six hundred miles. Did you have a good time? Yeah. What was your your favorite part? Anything special stand out? Mystery spot. Mystery spot. Mystery yeah. spot was pretty darn cool. I will say. Um. Whoops, and then, so yeah, so we're gonna head up to the uh, the airport and drop it off and say goodbye. Mom will come meet us and we'll head on home. So, road trip 2017, it's a wrap. Oh, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna fart. Bye. Wah, wah. Oh, but better take my napkin. There you go, all right, let's do this. Ugh. It just doesn't feel right. The beautiful road beast. We are now leaving it. Goodbye, road beast. You served your country valiantly. Alright. Let's continue on to where. Mom, our rental. Let's go in. That's us. Back outside. So what are we gonna do now? Uh, now we're gonna sit here and wait for mom and uh, watch some airplanes. Okay. All right. Sounds great. Mama is coming. Mom, let's see, uh, see. Mom, mom. Okay, there we go. He sees us. All right. So, into the car we go. Mm -hmm.